McDonald's workers strike, demanding union recognition, £15 an hour and better conditions. But will the fast food giant listen to these workers? The reason for striking is because they're striking for the right to join a trade union for a minimum wage of £15 an hour um, and the abolition of youth rates and zero hour contracts. Um, McDonald's can expect more strikes unless they, unless they start to... Uh, actually taking up the offer that we keep making them, which is to sit down and talk with us um, and, and be reasonable. Uh, I mean, McDonald's unfortunately has got a, a terrible uh, history when it comes to, uh, to workers. It's got a terrible history when it comes to workers' rights. I mean, unfortunately, we've seen too many examples of, uh, of sexual harassment and sexual abuse in the workplace. I mean, we would be happy to work alongside McDonald's to, to help them uh, alleviate some of that culture that they seem to have in, across their business. McDonald's has been quite hostile towards the union. Like they refuse to meet the union. They like from the first strike that we've been on up until this one, they've you know used a lot of union busting tactics. They try to segregate workers who are organising. They don't want the union presence there. They're, you know, I mean the managers really don't like it. The company doesn't like it. So I think they're doing everything they can to sort of stop the strike growing. But as you can see today from the turnout, we've had six stores on strike. Great support. It's not working for McDonald's. Will McDonald's sit round the table with the Baker's Union and listen to the demands of their workers? That remains to be seen.